Yo guys, Spiderbot here. We've got some Die Rise secrets here for you today. This time we're looking at the TV transmissions. We recorded this a while ago and simply provided you guys with the audio. And I said at the time I wanted to go back through them and sort of analyze them for any clues, hints, whatever. Little, 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 tiny little Easter eggs are like Easter bunny poops, right? They're not even Easter eggs. They're like these little turds. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways... Let's go through it step by step, and we'll have a little discussion whether it leads to something or not, or have we'll have some fun discussions. How about that? Let's see. Let's see what we got. We'll go through it bit by bit, starting right now. Attention, all on this channel. This is George Bartley, former assistant director of the CDC facility in Druid Hills, Georgia. All right, this is part of the first transmission on the television. A guy named George Barkley former assistant director to the CDC in Druid Hills, Georgia. Now, an interesting thing about this, Druid Hills is actually a suburb of Atlanta. This is the same Center for Disease Control that was featured in The Walking Dead. Yeah! You remember towards the end of season one when they went to the Center for Disease Control, this guy, Dr. Edwin Jenner, he was the last doctor there. Now, spoiler alert uh, for The Walking Dead if you haven't seen season one, but, uh, you know, at the end of season one, he basically self-destructs the Center for Disease Control and, uh, you know, our heroes, our guys in The Walking Dead barely escaped with their lives. Kind of an interesting tidbit for you, but the Atlanta City section of Druid Hills is one of Atlanta's most affluent neighborhoods with a median household income in excess of $238,500. What the hell? I want to go live there. Make that much money. Prior to the destruction of our headquarters, our research found evidence that contaminants are now infecting the very air we breathe. As such... Exposure of some sort appears inevitable for all survivors. All right, well, it looks like the Center for Disease Control in Druid Hills has been destroyed, maybe in the same manner it was in The Walking Dead. Who knows? He's obviously talking about the zombie infection, 115, and uh, how it's made its way into the air that we breathe. Although, the heroes, our heroes, our four players, other than possibly Samuel, have not been affected. So perhaps... Perhaps this is similar to Dead Island, if you guys have been watching that walkthrough, where the four heroes are immune to the contaminants, they're immune to the disease, and they won't turn into zombies, perhaps. I think our ultimate goal, Black Ops 2, at the end of all the DLC, we find a cure for the zombie disease. We cure everybody. That's my, yeah. I'm calling it right now, damn it. Symptoms are variable, but most subjects display short-term memory loss, psychosis, delusion, and paranoia. Short-term memory loss has also been reported, but as of yet, I've been unable to confirm this. Short-term memory loss, you say, twice. Right, buddy? Really? 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 <laughs> Are you infected? I guess he is. Anyways, George Barkley's going down. He's done, as is everyone else, sooner or later. I mean, since we're on the topic of The Walking Dead, you th really, really think... That the humans are going to survive. Do you think in the end they're going to have some kind of find some kind of cure? They're going to live on, and the zombies are all going to die off. No, man, zombie apocalypse. That's why they call it a po an apocalypse. It's because it's over. It's done. Your history. The human race is gone. The zombies are taking over. That's it. There's no cure. They got it. They own the world, man. It's like evolution. We advise all individuals to monitor their fellow survivors for signs of the above symptoms. Paranoia in particular. Ask yourself, are those closest to you really who you think they are? Are they following their own secret agenda? Are they perhaps running against you? Well, dude, I think you got a little paranoia going on, but obviously this might explain uh, some of the things that are going on with our own group of characters. We have... They... they you know, these guys have their own agendas, man. I mean, Samuel, of course, there's something going on. We saw in the cutscene right at the beginning of the, the Die Rise map. Uh, we know there's something up with Russ. Kill Russ from the bus station, right? I mean, Marlton has has this past. Misty, I don't know. She seems, she seems okay. She seems pretty cut and dry so far, in my opinion. But it's really Samuel who is displaying these characteristics of paranoia. I mean, he's the biggest one. He's the paranoid guy. He's talking to, obviously, Rick Toffin, and he's always talking to himself. And, yeah, of course, he's he's the dude. He's 
He's got this infection. He's he's up there with George Barkley there. The dangers presented by such symptoms cannot be overstated. It was with deep sadness that I myself was forced to euthanize 14 members of my own team. My condolences to my families. I hope this message serves as a warning to all survivors. We must all do whatever it takes to ensure our future as a species. Thank you. All right, so he's obviously infected. He's got this paranoia, and the paranoia problem drove him to to kill those 14 people that were part of his team. I mean, what a sicko, man. And is this what uh, our, our three characters, like our other three characters other than Samuel, right? Russ, Marlton, and Misty. Is that what is in store for them? Eventually, Samuel's just going to off them in the final DLC. And uh, who's going to win? Is it going to be Rick Toffin or, or Maxis? I don't know. I don't know. At any rate, that's the end of the uh, first quote or the first set of quotes from uh, one individual. And we have another individual here that is uh, seemingly transmitting from another location. So let's check it out. All right, so on this transmission, we got some whiny, needy lady, apparently, who uh, is all alone. Everybody left her. Maybe they wanted to leave you. Maybe it's because you're whiny. That's why they all left. Anyways, that's uh, let's listen to what else she has to say. I don't really want to, but okay. I tried to do it. To do it right. But the others, they wouldn't Whoa, okay, lady. Anyways, uh, so apparently she was trying to do it right in following the instructions from the German man who has stopped talking to her. Well, lady, you know what happens, right? As you do these steps in the Easter egg, see, you, you get verbal indications of what to do next. And until you do that next step, that's that's the only verbal indication you get, right? So if you've forgotten or can't decipher what he wants you to do with that previous step, then he's going to stop talking to you. He's not going to talk to you until you progress. That's the way these Easter eggs work in most cases. So you got to complete the step. I mean, what was the last thing he told you to do? You got to do that, and then he'll talk to you and tell you to do more. All right? Jeez, she obviously doesn't get Easter eggs. So I'm assuming that she was talking to Richtofen, but perhaps, hey, maybe, maybe she has been cured. Maybe she is was like Samuel. She could hear Richtofen, and then she has been cured of whatever affliction she has, some sort of form of Element 115 infection that, that she's been cured. So perhaps this is an indication that, in fact, a cure does exist. But holy crap, she's so whiny. Come on. All right, let's hit up the next one. Science has failed us. He has abandoned us. In this new world, we alone are your salvation. We alone can light the way. Okay, so this guy sounds pretty creepy, and I actually went back to the television transmissions on transit to do a comparison because the voice was kind of familiar, and I know there was a guy that uh, was talking about when he when he was originally started talking to Richtofen, and, and then at the end of his transmission, he started doing what Richtofen was asking of him, and I thought it was the same guy, but there it just it does sound like it's a different character, so I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't think it's the same guy. Hear our words. Heed our call. There is but one path to enlightenment. Just as they would consume us, we must consume them. We are the living, and we are the dead. We are the flesh, and the flesh is us. We will not starve. We will thrive. All right, so that's kind of interesting, and this sounds like it's more along the lines of what's going on with Samuel, and perhaps this is Richtofen's grand plan, is that it's almost like uh, we have these human-zombie hybrids almost, and, and Samuel, again, is one of them, and he is sort of semi-being controlled by Richtofen, but I think in the end, 
is, is that Samuel will end up like this guy where he is completely controlled by Richtofen, yet he's not a zombie. He's not entirely 100% a zombie. Perhaps, I, you know, I'm, I'm, it's a stretch. I'm, I'm grasping at straws here. But all we can do is try and piece together this, this puzzle, this absolute puzzle that Treyarch has put forth before us. I mean, did they get J.J. Abrams to help write this stuff? Because, you know, every time I watch an episode of Lost, I had more questions than I did answers. And it's the same thing here. What the hell's going on? Redcon 5, this is Saber 10. Our sweep failed to find any evidence of survivors on site. Broken Arrow is not viable for new FOV. Uh, that's a negative, sir. Records appear to have been destroyed in a fire prior to the facility being overrun. Sir, we believe staff may have been trying to destroy evidence implicating them in the outbreak. Understood, sir. Confirm drop at T-5. Retreating to safe distance. All right, it sounds like possibly they may be discussing the uh, Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, but maybe not. It could be uh, unrelated. Broken Arrow refers to basically losing control of a location, for instance. When foes have overrun a location, there's no hope, no possible hope of fighting them back. You know, you've lost the area. That's the Broken Arrow. And they're calling in an airstrike on this Broken Arrow. And, and again, you know, he, he's referring to FOB, uh, which means forward operating base in military terms. So he's saying, yeah, we can't uh, we can't have a base there. We basically need to incinerate the entire area. Um, on the other hand, there is a Broken Arrow in Oklahoma. Broken Arrow is a city located in the nor northeastern part of the U.S. state of Oklahoma, primarily in Tulsa County, but also with a small section of the city in western Wagner County. It's the largest suburb of Tulsa. I don't think they're referring to it, but I thought I'd bring it up when I was doing my search for Broken Arrow. I didn't yet actually realize there was... There was a, 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 a city in the U.S. called Broken Arrow. Isn't that interesting? And, of course, the only other thing is that we don't know who this guy was talking to, who was ordering this strike. Uh, we have no clue whatsoever. To anyone listening, we have food, water, and medical supplies. Enough to last several years. And uh, that's the last one, and perhaps this is an indication of a safe haven somewhere somewhere in the world i mean we're getting this transmission i have no you know we're the, the television is the you know has those lines on it means it's out of service right yet we're somehow receiving these radio transmissions through the television no idea how we're in china so where could these be coming from it doesn't sound like these guys are, are based in the u.s i don't i don't hear any sort of accents that would indicate otherwise so no idea where this safe haven could be. Perhaps it's somewhere, a location that we'll see at the end of the DLC here in Black Ops 2. All right, guys, so that's it. There's There was some interesting stuff in there. I mean, nothing mind-blowing. I mean, there's not, oh my God, there's some huge Easter egg. We totally missed this over here, and we should have done that. But it still provides a little bit of backstory, and that's what I like about discussing this stuff in video format because it gives it gives us that background. It gives you know Treyarch put all this stuff in there for a reason. We talk about it, we discuss it, and maybe it perhaps it fits into the zombie storyline, perhaps it doesn't. But it's all interesting kind of backstory, in my opinion, uh, that we go through here and that we'll continue to go through on the secrets videos. Not only for Transit and Die Rise, but we're looking forward to doing the same with future Black Ops 2 Zombies DLC. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts and comments in the video comments section. If you guys have any more feedback or input into what these people are saying on these radio transmissions, by all means, write down that comment. Type it in right now. No, right now. I'm serious. Till next time, I'm spotting them out.